was up in the top of the, the categories of fairways here and greens in regulation. Yeah, round of 68 yesterday, and uh, I think, you know, the, the little hashtag smiling Cinderella, maybe you don't take her ser too seriously, but that was a pretty serious round of golf she played. Back to the Jack Rabbit. This is Shibuno for a birdie and the outright lead. He's got a break. Uh, pretty good effort there. I think this will be pretty straightforward for her. Yep, just take that flag out. Thank you. After the women's British, she had a chance to take membership uh, on the LPGA Tour, and uh, she just really had not been, you know, away from Japan and hardly at all. And back to Jack Rabbit. This is Shibuno to remain tied for the lead. Yes, confidently done. I think it was actually a, a wise move on her part. I mean, I think Judy and I would agree that... Oh, it's just disappointing that we don't get to see her week in, week out. She's one under par for her round today with a birdie at the first. And that's two under par for her round and the outright lead. Boy, and in the heart. So Hanaka Shibuna missed the green at the eighth over on the left side, chipped to here. So this to save par, to stay ahead. So she's going to fall back. And I think I, I can't see many players having the chance to to get away from the pack here with the difficulty of these courses back over to jack rabbit and the third shot for hanako shibuno hanako's been playing well over on the japanese tour she's had a fifth and a third and hanako shibuno to take the outright lead once again moving towards the water and well read so she gets it back to five under. Hanako Shibuno is over on the other course, on the 11th of the Jack Rabbit course, which is just across the road from Cypress Creek. And that is a nice tee shot. We've seen a couple, haven't we, missed the green here. Started playing golf when she was eight years of age. She played softball growing up, and then she batted left-handed, her coach told her she should play golf right-handed to balance out her physical movement. So, obviously knew what he was talking about. That's remarkable. Right there for the sister axe here, over at the 12th, Shibuno. And that is a nice approach from Shibuno, and she's got a chance to get it to six under par. That made me want to go to the U.S. and compete more high-level tournaments. Good try. Perfect. Yeah, she was going to come and play in the LPGA's qualifying tournament, the Q-Series. Yeah, she's been a, an accomplished player in Japan, but it does feel like a different level. And then, just a few moments ago, Shibuno, for her sixth birdie of the second round, drops it in at 17 to move to seven under and shibuno now has a three shot lead We've got the leader shibuno finishing up here at 18 just off the fairway with her second the leader by three at seven under very tight corner here in the front portion of the green and actually giving herself another good look at birdie it's going to be a little quick down the hill the nerve certainly haven't got to it today and is it going to be a closing birdie? It wasn't far away, was it? There have only been five players that have won both the U.S. Women's Open and the AIG Women's Open as majors. And you're talking about some of the biggest names in the game. So that gives you an idea of what sort of an achievement it would be if Hanako Shibuno were to go on and win.